Hi Derek, I want to thank you for sending in your samples for us to test on the clicker press. Uh, I've got your samples here. Uh, I know you said something about an 8x10, but I don't have an exact 8x10, so I've got another one here. It's about a 8x14. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as a test piece. Uh, I'm going to lay two of your uh, magnetic pieces right down on top of the die here. I've got my cutting board mounted to the top. Slide it in. And we'll pull right back out. As you can see, cuts out perfect rectangle for you. The pieces are cut out nice and clean on the edges, both both pieces. I'll go ahead and uh, try your thicker material here. Got two pieces of that. We'll lay it down on here. And the nice thing about this die is you can use it either way. You can uh, it has a clear base on it so that you can actually look and, and see through the die, so you can place it wherever you want on your cutting board. If you want to use it that way. Slide that in. That one cut out just as easily. As you can see, pieces are nice, edges are nice and clean. Now on your smaller pieces, I've got a little smaller die here we're going to use. For the testing, this is a uh, just a small six cavity die, small rectangles. Uh, what I'll do is I'll lay your, lay your material on here, do two of these at a time. This is the same size die as the acrylic die that I just used. And as you can see, that cut out just as quickly and just as clean. And your parts pulled right out. The foam keeps the part from being jammed down into the cavity of the die. So all your pieces are nice and even and uniform. The edges are all nice and clean. So I'll go ahead and send you this video over, Derek, and I'll call you to discuss it. Thank you.